Okay, we are back talking about the basics of the brain, blood supply to the brain and the cranial nerves. I'm talking while looking at my blog, uh, my road to medical school .blogspot .jp. So let's continue now with the third part, starting with number 40. Which sinus would you find located below the cheeks, above the teeth, and on the sides of the nose? This is the maxillary sinus. 41. Where is CSF made? It's made in the choroid plexus. There are four choroid plexuses in the brain, one in each of the ventricles. A plexus in the ventricles of the brain where CSF is produced. The choroid plexus consists of modified epidermal cells and CSF is recycled four times per day in order to clean out the metabolites and toxins like beta amyloid. Okay, number 42. Um, the branches of the middle meningeal artery and vein are between which two skull bones? That's the frontal and the parietal. I'll say that again. The branches of the, of the middle meningeal artery are between and vein are between which two skull bones? The frontal and the parietal. Makes sense in the middle. Number 43. What are the dural folds? How many are there? And what is their function? Uh, the internal meningeal layer of the dura, which reflects away from the external periosteal layer of the dura to form dural enfoldings or reflections, which divide the cranial cavity into compartments and support parts of the brain. So what are these dural folds? What are the parts? First is, well there are three, can you guess them? Well there are two falcs, falxes, anyway, and one other thing. There is the falx cerebri, or the cerebral falx, which separates the left and right cerebrum. Then there is the tentorium cerebelli, which separates the cerebrum from the cerebellum. And then there is the falx cerebri, or the cerebral falx, which separates the left and right cerebrum. So don't overcomplicate this. If you can imagine the, the back of the skull and um, a line running uh, from the front to the back, all the way down, and then down at the base of the skull, one running laterally, you can imagine how they are separating the uh, the cerebrum and the cerebellum, and then how each and how the cere cerebrum and the cerebellum are separated into left and right parts. Okay, and there's a nice picture on my blog if you need to see in more detail. Number forty-four. The venous channels found between the layers of the dura matter in the brain. I'm talking about definition here. They receive blood from internal and external veins of the brain, receive CSF from the subarachnoid space, and ultimately empty into the internal jugular vein. What are we talking about here? These are the dural venous sinuses. These are large veins. They are endothelial, endothelial line spaces between the periosteal and meningeal layers of the dura. They form where dura enfoldings attach. There are large veins on the surface of the brain which empty into these sinuses. All blood from the brain ultimately drains through these sinuses into the internal jugular veins, eventually reaching the right atrium. So now we know what the dural sinuses are. They are venous channels found between the layers of the dura matter in the brain and they receive blood from the internal and external veins of the brain and receive CSF from the subarachnoid space and then dump it all into the internal jugular vein. Okay, so now we know what the dural sinuses do. Number 45. What type of veins do the dural venous sinuses drain? the superficial and deep veins of the brain. 
the sinuses drain to the internal jugular vein via the jugular foramen. Number 46. Veins on the superior and lateral surfaces drain where? Into the superior sagittal sinus. So to review, uh, what type of veins do the dural venuses, venous sinuses drain? The superficial and deep veins of the brain into the jugular foramen. And how about veins on the superior and lateral surfaces? Where do they drain? Into the superior sagittal sinus. Makes sense? 47. The basal veins run laterally and dorsally around the cerebral peduncle to end where? They end in the great vein of Galen, which drains to the si straight sinus. Forty-eight. Veins on the posterior and inferior surfaces of the brain the superior cerebellar veins and the transverse sinuses drain to several sinuses. Which ones? There are three. The straight, the transverse, and the superior petrosal. So the straight, transverse, and superior petrosal, these are the sinuses where the superior cerebellar veins and the transverse sinuses drain. 40. A large collection of thin walled veins creating a cavity bordered by the temporal bone of the skull and the sphenoid bone lateral to the cella turquica. What is this? This is the cavernous sinus. A large collection of thin walled veins creating a cavity bordered by the temporal bone of the skull and the sphenoid bone lateral to the cella turtica. Number 50. What divides the frontal to parietal to temporal bones? This is the central sulcus. The central sulcus divides the frontal to parietal to temporal bones. Okay, let's stop there. Thank you very much.